Hello friends, let's start with workshop of the poem You Start Dying Slowly. Up to now, we had seen explanation of the poem and chit chat activity of the poem. Here in first activity, you have to choose suitable option uh, for the poem. C, third or C is a suitable op option. Be yourself and do what your heart tells you. Then in second activity, you have to write theme or central idea of the poem. Here I had written this central idea we are going to see or use in appreciation also. In second, in second activity, B is that line that provides evidence of the theme. What is the theme of the poem? That if you can't change your life, you are going to die slowly. See, lines are written here. In C activity, the characteristics from, from the poem that makes a person dull and uninteresting. Here, three lines are given from the poem. Third activity is that you have to pick out the adjectives or describing words with the noun from the poem. We had written here, you can see here, four describing words with the noun there. In fourth activity, you have to compare our, you have to compare first poem with our You Start Dying Slowly poem. Our first poem was Teen Air Prayer. We had seen this poem. We have to compare these two poems with the structure. About rhyming scheme or rhyme scheme, teenager prayer, the uh, rhyme scheme of the teenager prayer is A, B, C, B, but you start dying slowly, free verse. And type of the poem, teenager prayer is a narrative poem, and you start dying slowly is a didactic poem. About stanzas, explanation is given here. And about figure of speech, in teenager prayer, we had seen that this prayer is uh, pr presented for uh, or, uh, for God. Speaker is speaking to God. That's why apostrophe is there. And some sentence construction is different than a grammatical rules. That's why inversion is there. And in our, you start dying slowly, repetition is a figure of speech. In our fifth activity, where, what expression, expression is repeated in the poem? See, if you do not, is the line repeated again and again for almost 12 times. That's why it's a repeated line and explanation is given here. In sixth activity, you have to write opposite uh, statements from the given statements. Here, in our answers, you can see in yellow columns that should is used here. Should gives us a suggestion or uh, should su suggest us or ans answers are with should. In seventh activity, you have to write yourself, you have to write a paragraph. It's just like a summary of the poem. You, have to, you can change the title, living a better life. You can write yourself on any title for that. You have to write that yourself and then eighth activity about eighth activity uh, which help you to change your habits and routine some if i do this some if say statements are given there in chit chat activity we had seen that whenever if is there uh, our answer will be in future tense that's why i shall shall is used as a answer in future what will happen you can pause the video and write it down in ninth activity uh, you have to write some uh, need some inspirations in our life and here you have to write uh, uh, some things which inspires us uh, example is given here like uh, stories like that uh, ideal personalities uh, inspires us then uh, biographies uh, autobiographies or motivational speech then uh, parents hard work we inspires us and your work towards your aim in life in our second lesson be smart we had seen that for to choose a, any aim in a goal in our life 
in tenth activity turbulent is at the center we have to complete this wave turbulence means unsteady tsunami is unsteady rainfall is unsteady and our emotions are also unsteady like that glistening glistening means sparkling and stars are sparkling see in advertisement we can see the uh, advertisements of a toothpaste here our teeth can sparkle glisten car fish or uh, sensible sensible means good advice uh, some speech gives us good advice pictures some ideas some persons gives us a good advice then uh, 11th activity that you have to do yourself that see uh, write about a day when you felt very happy it's a personal response question you have to write your own experience about that with the help of a following questions uh, if you remember the day you have to write a day and date a spe special occasion or a celebration what happened the day day another two questions are given there. like that we have finished our workshop uh, you have we can you can pause the video and write it down okay thank you very much have a good day